Hey everyone, James Yang here. One of the most common questions I get from inventors is whether to file a provisional or non-provisional patent application. The choice can be confusing, but it really comes down to two key considerations. Do you want to delay costs or do you want to secure your patent as soon as possible? Let's break down your options and help you make the best decision for your invention. First, let's talk about the provisional patent application. Filing a provisional patent allows you to delay the expenses associated with the examination. After you file a provisional patent application, you will receive a serial number and a filing receipt. But beyond that, nothing else happens. Your idea won't be reviewed or examined to see if it's worthy of a patent. The advantage of filing a provisional patent is that you can hold off on spending money on legal fees. You won't need to pay for responding to office actions, filing an information disclosure statement, or paying the issue fee, at least not yet. But keep in mind, this also means your patent won't be granted until later. Now, let's move to the non-provisional patent application. Filing a non-provisional starts the examination process immediately. From the moment you file, you're on your way to getting your patent if all goes well. But this comes with a price. The downside, you can't delay legal expenses. You'll need to pay for the filing of the IDS, responding to the office actions, and paying the issue fees sooner rather than later. But every dollar spent gets you closer to securing your patent if all goes well. So which should you choose? It boils down to this. Do you want to delay costs and get your patent later? Then go with a provisional application. But if you want to secure your patent as soon as possible, you'll need to be ready for the costs associated with a non-provisional application. Still on the fence? I often recommend starting with a provisional application. Why? Because it gives you flexibility. You have up to one year to decide if you want to file a non-provisional application. And you don't even have to wait the full year. You can file the non-provisional the day after the provisional if you change your mind. Here's the basic strategy. Start with a provisional, launch your product, and see how it performs in the market. Often, the fear of competitors infringing on your patent is overblown at the start. Most infringement issues only arise once your product shows strong market demand. If competitors start copying you sooner than expected, that's when you file your non-provisional application. And also consider expediting the examination. This approach helps you manage your expenses and secure your patent when it matters most. For a deeper dive into whether to expedite your non-provisional application, check out my other video, Should You Expedite Examination of Your Non-Provisional Application? In the end, your decision between a provisional and non-provisional patent comes down to your priorities. Delay costs or secure your patent quickly. Just remember, you can't have it both ways. If you need help navigating the patent process, feel free to reach out to me. I've helped hundreds of clients and I'm confident I can help you too. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more patent tips. See you next time.